Welcome back everyone to Kid Made Modern Events. I'm your host Lori. I'm so glad you all can join us again today. Are you guys learning at home this fall? Get my little globe here. I bet you one thing that you might be missing out on or maybe mom and dad might be missing out on are your amazing school pictures that I'm sure you get every year. <laughs> I'm sure they're so perfect. So today we have our very fun special guest Melissa from Little Photo Studio in Chicago. She is the best kids photographer. I love her photography. Um, she can make any kid smile, that is for sure. And she's gonna actually teach us how to take photos while at home and how to make that awesome school photo happen while we're still at home. Um, she has some tips and tricks and you guys are gonna really appreciate it for sure. Um, if you take pictures with Melissa's tips, make sure to tag us at Kid Made Modern. I would love to compile them all together and show your kids' school pics. That would be awesome. So, all right, y'all, have a great day and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Melissa Salvatore with The Little Photo Studio. I'm gonna take you inside for a peek at the creative team that it takes to do professional photographs. Then I'm gonna bring you home with my kiddos to teach you the step-by-step -step on how to take school photos at home this year. All right, let's go inside. When it comes to picking the right gear, you can use an SLR camera, a cell phone camera works great, or if you want to have a little more fun with it, pick up a Polaroid. All right, I'm home with my kiddos, Bennett, a now fourth grade e-learner, and Owen, a now kindergarten e-learner, and we are going to do some school photos at our house. Poop! <laughs> <laughs> I love poop! Step one, picking the clothing. My suggestion is let them dress how they feel comfortable, but with some boundaries. Give them three outfit options at least, lay them out and tell them they need to pick one in order to play a game with you. Step two, find the brightest room in your house with a plain or textured wall. Big hint, stop looking for the biggest wall or Instagram clean rooms. This can just be a little nook of a space that is outside or inside by a bunch of windows. Step three, turn off all artificial lights. Although it makes the room look brighter, it is mixing light and doesn't flatter the skin, hair color, wall color. Let's just say it doesn't usually make for a good looking photo. Step four, test. Kids have the patience of, well, insert anything that comes to mind that can't do anything boring for longer than two minutes. So testing your light and camera, or even your phone setting, will take some time. Don't make the kids sit there for that time. Step five, don't make a big deal out of taking photos and bribing your kiddos. Let them know you have a fun game planned and that you're gonna just play and you want to record the whole thing. Here I'm taking at least 10 to 20 shots of each kid. I wanna give myself a chance to look through and find the best one. Lastly, Use an editing app to give it that last piece of oomph. My go-to on my phone is either Visco or Snapseed. Okay, number one tip when photographing your kids at home. Don't bribe them. They'll know you're up to something. Just make it fun, make it lighthearted, make it short, make it easy. And maybe talk about things that parents wouldn't normally talk about. Who has the stinkiest fart in the family? Who pooped last in the toilet? You know, good old potty humor. <laughs> Always was a trick. Have fun.